What up, YouTube? Random here checking in. Today's video, I'm going to go ahead on and uh, flip this here. 1260 over. If y'all know, I've been having problems with the one that's in my car. I got this one. I got one on the back of my truck. This is going to be the last time trying to rebuild used units from these backyard transmission builders or just buying one um, instead of a new one from like Jay's or somewhere. So I'm going to flip it over, see if they got any oil in the, I mean, any um, metal in the transmission pan, the magnet. I'm going to pull the one out of my car, hopefully tomorrow. And um, I got a um, new pressure switch up in that one, two solenoids, fresh A and B solenoid. I'm going to hopefully be able to swap out the converter because that's a brand new converter that I got up in there. It's slipping when I get in the gas, when I started slipping um lately when i drove it like first going to second gear slipping it ain't even going in the third and fourth so i'm just trying to get the thing working before i have to decide to spend about two thousand dollars on a new unit but at least it'll be worth it because it's got warranty um i guess professionally built and, and it's dyno tested as well and that's on jays i think it go for about 17 something so, y'all stick with me. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. And let's see what we got going on here. I'm going to start converter right there. I pulled him off. I think they got most of the fluid out of there. But that's why I put it in this pool to catch anything that might spill so I don't get it all on my flu. If you're working in a garage or anything, this is stuff. You get it from Napa. That's some real good all absorbent. So, Appreciate y'all once again, baby. Don't forget to hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe. You hear me? Let's get it. Mr. Random. What's up, YouTube? Mr. Random here checking in. And today is the day. We break down the full L60E. This is a 99 model that I got on my co-worker truck. 95, which I thought might have been newer, but it was in the mining right there. You see, it's a two-piece shaft. You see that tag right there? That's how you can look them up and see what year it is. They also got that same stamp right under this tail of the transmission. And I'll show you once I get this one here flipped over. So let me get this flipped over right here. Gather my tools to take the bell housing off, which is a T50 plus. It's not a regular torque bit. It's a T50 plus. You see it's not as pointy. It's, kind of, it's rounded off. So that's to get remove these, this bell housing. So I'm gonna flip the transmission over, get it as level as possible. I had already pre-drained it. You see this um, stand I got me set up. There's actually a shelf that come from off of one of those um, shelves right there. Some extras that I had. Y'all see them sitting down there. But anyway, I made me a little table. It fits up in there perfect. Trap the fluid. We got me a, a top on the ground. Kitty pool. Y'all see what's going on. Let me get it flipped over. I'm going to cut you back on. Don't forget to share, like, share, comment, subscribe. It's my first time ever working on a 4L60E. So I don't think this one here had um, gone in a third or fourth gear. It wasn't going in a fourth. I know when I pull it out, um, one of these lines wasn't all the way in there. So that kind of gave me some hope that it might be all right. So y'all tune in, baby. Mr. Random, let's get it. All right, gang. So first, like I said, I'm going to start by flipping this here thing over and get it level as possible. Let's see if we can have any good luck doing that. This unit is heavy, and I have to get it up here with an engine hoist. I wasn't about to uh, hurt my back or none of that, trying to get it up here. So, yep, I did use an engine hoist. Y'all, be careful picking up these heavy units. Just trying try to pop that back in there. Uh, okay, now we're going to get to the level without me removing that barrel housing bolt. So, I'm going to go ahead on and do that. That's where we would have bell housing. And then, 
I'll try to get it level from there. But like I say, we got a T50. And I got it on a big ratchet. Matter of fact, let me see. Let's see how easy it is. Easy to come up off of there. Big T50. Let me take it out of the sockets off. Here there's something else. See what's going on. She's trying to hold the thing, trying to move. Get it. Tap, tap. Yeah, that boy, tight. Ooh, tight Ooh, that's like a tight game. Ooh, that's like a tight, baby. <clears throat> Let me flip the train mission over. Back where you were. On the flex side. And I'm going to try like that. And it's the good thing about having him on like a piece of metal because he can slide easy and you ain't gonna fight him too hard. Let's see if we can get something broke now. Well, thing tight. Break a bump. Might have to try him and maybe. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that game thing is tight. They're gonna make me come out this old hoodie. So I done broke me one. I'm gonna have to put him on a drill. I'm like a tight chain. I'm bad boy, tight baby. So I got two. I broke so far. It's bad boy, tight. Let me go grab my breaker. Bar. Let me go see, gang. Him broke. Gang, y'all probably ain't gonna be able to do this by y'all so I know most of y'all ain't really mechanically inclined like random. Oh shit. So another way you could probably do it is strap the transmission down. Probably put a clamp on it or something. See if I can get them. That's the problem. We got try to keep this thing straight. Hmm. I got two bolts that I need to get y'all. Y'all see what's going on? The whole, the whole thing. I can get them. We just. Get them on a straight angle. Let me try to get a C clamp or something to, to hold this in down. All right. Y'all see we back in action. I right, done threw the ratchet strap on there. Let me get let's break these last two bolts. So we can get this damn bell house and off of this thing, man. Can't let this look down the house and get us like that. Mm -hmm. Come on, Sunny boy. You know, we got one more game. 
One more baby, I did a frame swap in the dirt by myself. Y'all saw that video? You didn't see that one up. Should it be ready to come off with a... They go out bell high. Now, we're gonna set him. It'll be part number one. Okay, now we're ready to flip this little baby over. Get it all leveled out. And next we're gonna be removing this here tail housing. Then I'm gonna come back, take this servo out after I take the oil pan off. And we're gonna start from now. I'm gonna pull a pump out. I'm gonna show y'all all how I build a transmission. Random way. Y'all stay tuned, baby. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get it, you hear me? As you can see, it's a pretty nice little setup random got it, huh, gang? So y'all see the pan. Y'all see, y'all see why we rebuilding it. Y'all see anything that don't look right? You just let me know. See that? You see that seal up on there? See that? Now some of these parts that we're gonna take off of here, we're gonna um, we're gonna mark them. So we're gonna stick this one here in our parts file. Just gonna focus on getting this here harness off of here. Just get the harness off, gang. Okay? Get the harness off. I think this one, this one here, gotta come out though. In order to get that, um, I think the PWM cylinder on it. Gotta pull that out so you can, um, cause this still connect. It stays with the harness. We're going to um, unplug him right here, Mr. Jim. Plug this here. I think this should hear you. Your um, TTC. And there your TTC. They, most people, they recommend replacing these uh, harnesses. They say your pressure manifold switch. This solenoid A, which feels still good in the cell. And this solenoid B, he feels good as well. But we probably replaced both of those. I might grab those out the transmission in a Monte Carlo because I had just replaced all of those. I replaced the pressure manifold and A and B solenoid. All right, see that there? I'm gonna leave him together. Put him in your, in your box. Next, we're gonna take that there, PWM solenoid out of there. Yeah, pop that clip up. Just twist that cylinder. See that? Put your clip on him. Throw him in the box as well. All right. So now we ready to remove this here solenoid. Actually, I think this was the um the PWM, I think that's what they call it. I haven't messed with one of these units in so long. And I was just playing. It's my first time doing this game. Y'all gonna let a Ricky? I'll do y'all. Y'all been working on calls all y'all life. Y'all gonna let a Ricky come in here? And I'll do y'all. See this one here? This one here stays with the harness. 
Now you can lay your harness to the side. You see that? See that? Look how pretty that is. How pretty that goes. I'm gonna screw these. I'm gonna screw these here back up in there. I'm gonna just screw them back in there. Just cause I know that they can go there without affecting nothing. I think this shit can stay on. I believe it can. I'll take out one. Let's we'll see how long it is. So that, that definitely going all the way through. I'll take. Pull them three out. All right. So now I need eight millimeter and take them out. While we're right here, I'm gonna take this here on um, our three full. Accumulator so off of here. One, two, and three, four accumulator. And hold it because they got a spring up under there. Kind of twist it so you don't pull that gasket up. Them screws. Let go your accumulator. Let's see if she's working. Accumulator look like it's working good, huh? But we ain't even tripping on that because guess what? We got a billet one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got a billet one. So, we'll set this here. Accumulator. To the side in the up. I'm gonna just set it in the oil pan for right now. Matter of fact, I'm gonna set it on the side until I clean the oil pan. Let me look for an eight millimeter bolt so I can loosen up the rest of them. That 13 right there, that bracket, you can take him off of them. See where, see where she go. She go in the first spot. You see that? You go in the first spot. Damn, that's how that gonna go. Hook right there and go in that first slot. See that? So, I, I always like to screw back whatever I can screw in. So this here, that that can go up in there because she not. So I'm gonna screw all the way to the transmission. So I'll put the bracket in the box and keep this here screwed in. Oh, see that, huh? See that? So this ain't ready to come off yet. So I'm gonna show y'all how that how they come up off of that too. I'm gonna show y'all everything. I'm going to show it to you. Let me get that 8 millimeter, and we're going to mess with the rest of them screws. Put your lever, shift lever up in your box. So 516. This is our 8 millimeter goes down. <clears throat> I think we ought to be able to lift up right now. But you want to lift, try to lift straight up. You got check balls. And what you call it going to stop us too, though? Well, you know what? I think she, I think she going to pull right out of there. We could try. Let's try you might pull right out. So 
Y'all see that? What y'all scared for? You know I gotta take a selfie with this. You know I gotta take a selfie with that. 